Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss uh, just a tutorial on our uh, calculator, our weighted average calculator that we made a while ago, and I thought might as well do a tutorial on it as well as tutorial on what a weighted average is, and also the calculator you can find it at gc.mes.fm slash wac. That just redirects to our gray calculator.mes.fm slash weighted dash average dash calculator and you can also get it through these shorter links basically uh, like I just said we recently created a weighted average calculator which is used mainly for calculating your weighted average course or semester grade but our calculator and, and the math behind it can be used for any type of weighted average and I'll explain that in a bit the calculator can be found at here and again let's just open the browser up so bring this over like this. So just go here, type gc.mes.fm. You could also go there directly and then or just go slash WAC. Again, it goes straight to here. You could also go straight to gc.mes.fm. It goes to here. Just these are just quick links and click this weighted average button. And this is another great calculator, just calculates your final exam grade. And I made a video on that in my earlier video, but yeah, just check it out if you're in school or, or whatnot. So here's how it is. In this one, you could put your grade, let's say 70% in one course, and then you give the weight 5, for example, and then the average is calculated. If there's nothing there, there's 70. Your average course percentage is that. Let's put a 80 like this, 89 to a 6. Let's do 50, and again, put anything here, and this auto auto calculates everything so there it is it changes depending on what it is if you put really really big number it goes pretty much this 56 this just means that this weight this matters way more than these other two so that's the idea behind weighted average yeah and now before I go over the calculations behind our calculator let's go over what a weighted uh, average as well as an average is yeah, in this case, let's go over what an average. So basically, what is an average? An average, you're, you're probably used to it. It's just a, the average of a group of numbers is simply defined as the sum of the numbers divided by the total amount of numbers. And this definition yields a number that, when multiplied by the amount of numbers, is equal to the sum of numbers. And I'll explain this all in a bit. This number is known as the average and is illustrated in the example below. So let's, let's look at these numbers 2, 4, and 6 right here. So the average by definition would be, let's go average, AVG for short, equals to the sum. So this is uh, defined as the sum of the numbers divided by the to total amount of numbers. So in this case, there is a, right here 1, 2, 3 numbers. So let's just write 3 uh, numbers right here. So the average will be, yeah, would be in our case here, 2 plus 4 plus 6, and then divided by the total number, 3. This would equal 2. Well, this is going to be 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 2 is 12 over 3, which equals to 4 right here. So again, so this is the average, and again, what it, what it means is this is uh, this yields a number that when multiplied by the amount of numbers equals to the sum of the numbers. Basically, we can just rearrange this. Yeah, so if we rearrange it, we get, well, multiplied by 3 on both sides, we get 12 equals to 3 times 4. So what this means is if all of these numbers were 4, the sum would be, well, 12, which is, again, the sum we had for these numbers. So that's the idea of an average. So it's basically saying what is the one number that represents the the total amount yet yeah, divided by the number of uh, numbers so three right here so that's the idea of an average yeah so now let's look at what a weighted average is basically a weighted average is the same as an average except that each number is scaled by importance and i'll explain that further basically this simply means that each number has an associated weight or worth and its importance is calculated by multiplying multiplying the number by its weight and the weighted average is calculated as a sum of all the numbers multiplied by their weights divided by the sum of the weights and uh, as shown in the following example it turns out that an average is simply a weighted average except all the numbers have the same 
weights. And similar to this, uh, to the average, this definition yields a number that when multiplied by the sum of the weights is equal to the sum of all the numbers multiplied by their weights. So this sounds like a mouthful, but I'll go over an example and you'll see that it's pretty straightforward. So let's say we have our numbers, we'll use the same numbers as before. We have two, four, six, and now we'll have, let's say the weights right here. Let's say we scale them up so the first one is, is worth the most, so is it worth uh, six, second is uh, four, and then we have two. So by the definition above, weighted average, is going to be well similar to the average except now we do the sum of the multiplications of these or the multiples so two so we have so right here let's go back to here it's, it's calculated by multiplying the number by its weight or actually go back to here at weight average is calculated as a sum of all the numbers multiplied by the weights divided by the sum of the weights so two times six that's its weight plus four times four plus here we have six times two. Divide this all by now the total number of weights, which is six plus four plus two. So what we get is equal to, just try to calculate this out, two times six is 12 plus 16 plus 12 divided by here, this is 12. And again, this equals two, let's see what this is. 12 plus 12 is 24, so we have 24 plus 16 divided by 12. 6 plus 24 is 30, plus 10 is 40, so this equals to 40 divided by 12, which equals 2. You could use a calculator, or let's keep doing it by hand, divide both of these by 2. So we have 20 divided by, so 20 times 2, this is going to be 6 times 2, the 2's cancel, and also... Yeah, the twos cancel, so also let's go here, divided by two again. We have 10, yeah, again, make this uh, divide by uh, two, so 10 times two times two. This one, again, this is gonna be three times two, which is six times two. Again, all the twos cancel, we're just left with 10 over three, which equals, when you divide, uh, divide it out, 3.333, and it keeps going on and on. So that is our weighted average which again, the exact value is gonna be, well, our 10 over three. So if we use this 10 over three, and then again, what this means is this weighted average one multiplied by the total weights. So we have, again, 10 over three times it by 12. So when we rearrange it, that just equals to 40. And that's just clearly 40, which is basically finding a number that multiplies by the total weights equals this number. So it's kind of like an average. Yeah, and now if we assume that the weights in the above example were, were all the same, for example, let's say W, then the weighted average is simply the average, as I explained, uh, well, as I stated above, and I will explain it in more detail. So now let's go with that same example. So let's say they all have the, uh, let's just go a number. This is going to be our weight. Let's say they all have the same weight, and we'll call that W. So we have 2, 4, 6, W, W, so again now we have weighted average. Now what happens is this is gonna be well two times W plus four times W plus six times W divided by well W three W's. So it's W to plus W plus W. So this equals two, or I'll just write that for completeness sake, W plus W plus W. And now this equals two, when we take out these w's, we get two, four, plus six, and then take this one out, we'll have this is gonna be three, then w right here, three times, or w times three. So these w's cancel, and all we're left with is two plus four plus six divided by three. So again, what this means is, it doesn't matter what this the worth is, if they're all the same, they just cancel. Now this again, when you add this up, this is gonna be, 12 divided by 3 equals to 4, which is the exact average we calculated earlier in this exact calculation. Yeah, now this just shows that, uh, this means that for calculating the average, the weight of the numbers don't matter, and like I stated, yeah, you could put in any number. And also, when using our calculator to calculate average, you can simply input the same number for the weights as shown in the example uh, below. And I'll, I'll, I'll go through that when I do the average. So if we put all these the same weights, for example, one, then you're gonna get an average. So here's an example using our weighted average 
calculator. So we have grades 90, 75, 358, 70.31 is the answer. Let's do that right here. This is just a screenshot. It's five. This was, let's see, this 358. So we get three. Let's go back again. Three. This is going to be 75, 5, 60, 8. So 70.31, exactly like that. And if you're doing the average, you can put in any number. Let's just put 1. And that number will get 75. And anyway, so here's a screenshot. So the calculations used in this example are identical with the calculations in the above example. So this exact same thing we did. So the weighted average, again, this is just going to be equal to just times by each number by its weight. So 90 plus 90 times 3 plus 75 times 5 plus 60 times 8, all divided by the addition of these 3, 5 plus 8. Yeah, and here I put it into the calculator. I used Google's calculator right here. So 90 times 3 plus 75 times 5 plus 60 times 8, all divided by 3 plus 5 plus 8 equals 70.31, which is our answer. So this equals to 70.31, and the units we're using is percent, so that is the weighted average. And now, basically, to get the average grade here, I've screenshotted that, which was 75, like I showed earlier. Uh, we simply input it in our calculator the same weights for each course. For example, choosing one, you could also put two, three, doesn't matter what number you put. Also, another thing, there's this add course button, I forgot to go over that. If you need to add an extra course, you can just press that, and if you want to close them, you can just press this X button. So, and again, you could put in any number here, let's put 10 or 9, 199, 199, if it's all the same, it just goes to the average, 75. So again, this is the same calculations as we had before. So what this goes, if you were solving this weighted average, this one, since they're all the same, they cancel, we can ignore these. So weighted average equals to average in this case, which equals to 90 uh, plus 75 plus, whoops, plus 60, and then all divided by 3, which equals 2. Again, yeah, so now if you were to do this, you put in the calculator, or you could do uh, just look at this and, and notice that this 90 uh, is the same thing as writing 75 plus 15. This is just, uh, just do it by hand. And also the 60, there's a difference between 75 and 15 again. So what we could do is, we, what we could do is 60 plus 15, and then we can do minus 15. So we're adding a 15 and a subtracting. This one we just broke it up, and then all divided by 3. So what we could do in this case, cancel this 15 with this, and we're just left with, and this becomes 75. This equals to 75 plus 75 plus 75 divided by 3. Again, that just equals to, well, this is just all divided by 3, all the same numbers. This is going to be 3 times 75 divided by 70, divided by 3 equals to, they cancel 75. So 75%, that's our units, always add the units at the end. That's just a quick way of doing that by hand. And yeah, that's pretty much all for today. Hopefully you'll learn from this pretty interesting video on averages and weighted average as well as our grade calculator. If you have exams, make sure to use our grade calculator and our weighted average calculator as well. Anyways, that's all for today. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.